Well, the vaccines and treatments for COVID-19 have gotten us through this pandemic and are hopefully going to be the key to finally stopping the spread. But what if there was a treatment that uses your own immune system that would actually search, trap, and destroy the virus before you ever became sick. That's what scientists at the University of Chicago are working on, a potential treatment that pairs nanoparticles with your own immune system. And joining us to tell us more about their work is Professor Jun Huang, whose lab is leading this research. Good morning to you, Professor. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. Thank you very much. Okay, so tell me, these are called nanotraps. In the most non-scientific way, what is a nanotrap and how does this work? A nanotrap is a small particle made of safe FDA-approved biomaterials. The size of a nanotrap is only 1% of the thickness of our hair. The nanotrap is designed to catch and kill coronavirus. It works in a two-step manner. First, the nanotrap catches the coronavirus to block the infection to patient cells. Secondly, the nanotrap triggers patients' own immune cells to kill the coronavirus. Okay. Now, my question is, how do I get that nanotrap in my system? How do you guys administer this? The administration is quite flexible. Uh, the nanotraps can be formulated as a nasal spray, eye drop, or IV injection for easy administration. Oh, okay. So is that something then I would just take when it's COVID season or flu season? Or, or when do you know to take this nasal spray? It is actually can do as a, a prevention treatment or after infection. It's oh. quite flexible. However, we need a rigorous clinical uh, trials before we can actually give exactly dose and the timing. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it can be used as prevention. It can be used when you think you might be sick, then you could use the nasal spray to prevent it from getting any worse? Yes, okay. correct. Okay, so would this help with future variants? Because that seems to be the thing everybody is focusing on. We heard so much about herd immunity. Now we're hearing it may not necessarily happen just because not enough people are going to be vaccinated um, and that it may just become, COVID may become something like a flu that we learn how to handle. So would this nano trap be work workable for all these variants that are out there that the vaccines may not necessarily always cover? This is a great question. So although we didn't test on variants yet, in theory, our nanotraps could be used on variants of the virus, leading to a potential new way to inhibit the virus going forward. Again, we, have, we need a rigorous clinical test before we can really draw such a conclusion. Right, so tell me how far you guys are in this, how long have you been working on this, and how far away are we from making this a reality? We studied from the onset of the coronavirus back to last April. Um, we need to really test a, a therapeutic efforts uh, in small and large animal models before clinical trials can begin. This development can take anywhere from one year to several years. We really hope a pharmaceutical company can take the technology for further development. Okay, so what future use could you also see for something like this? Our nanotrap is a platform. So first of all, our nanotrap can be further developed into a vaccine against the coronavirus and the variants. Secondly, it can be easily adapted into treatment of other viruses, such as like flu virus. Finally, we are also looking into the ways to utilize them for cancer treatment. Wow, so there's many possibilities in the future. Please keep us posted where you guys are with this. It'll be interesting to hear when you are in those clinical trials. And I look forward to, to talking to you then and having you back, Professor Jun Huang with University of Chicago. Great work you guys are doing out there. Thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you so much.